Greetings everyone, a warm welcome to you. Thank you all for joining me for this month's readings. This is August and this is Cancer's reading. So it's time to sit back and relax and see what messages are coming your way. These three different decks of cards all are pertaining to different areas of the reading, but don't worry about that. We will work through it as the reading evolves. Before we start, I had some mantras for you guys. Your one that you received is, I learned to forgive and release. And you also received a message from Archangel Raziel, and that was intuition. And I think Cancerians, you're very good at intuition. Now, you guys and Gemini have had to wait till the very last for your readings, and I often say, you know, patience is a grand thing, and waiting till the last can be beneficial because sometimes there's a bit more time and energy to put into the reading. So I'm going to add a final card at the end for you guys because you've shown your patience. So let's move into the reading. We start with the Rider Waite cards and we use four of them. Remember to check your moon and rising signs as well because you're just as likely to see some interesting information in those. My rising sign, I'm pretty sure, is a Cancer as well. So let's see what's in store for you guys for August 2018. The King of Wands reversed, the Empress, the Six of Cups, and the Page of Swords. And I don't know what it is, but there have been quite a lot of court cards coming out in the readings uh, for this month. Taurus had four court cards. So whether or not it means people are socializing and just, you know, mixing and mingling a little bit, possibly for the Northern Hemisphere because it is summer, up there you guys get out a little bit more I mean for us down here it's winter and I'm not really a winter fan so we don't go out quite as much we tend to sort of sit at home a little bit these cards here are the heart of the chakra healing cards and they are for your health sector for this particular reading so let's see what's in store here for cancer And don't worry if these are reversed, they're oracle cards, they have no uh, different perspective on them. That one there is passion, desire, fun, fulfillment and joy. And that comes to us from the heart chakra area. And this one is home. And it says shelter, safety, nurturing and warmth. <laughs> After me just saying that's kind of what we do in winter down here. So let's have a look. These last cards that we're using in this part of the spread for you are referring to relationships this time around. And we are pulling three of these. You've got the power. It reminds me of a song, I think, from the 80s. Daughter and spiritual teacher. The daughter and son cards have also come out quite a lot during the month for the readings as well. Oops, sorry guys. <laughs> Spinning our heads around there. Let us go up to the top row where we are starting with the tarot cards. So we have the King of Wands reversed as your first card in there. It is not a bad omen when, even when it's reversed and it does often refer to a person, possibly a uh, fire sign energy, uh, possibly a slightly older man and sometimes with fairer hair and fairer skin. I wonder if that also denotes greyer hair. <laughs> um, this person could be around you acting in quite a positive uh, manner. Often they have a great deal of energy and sometimes they move quickly and do things at a fast pace and this could be surrounding passion ideas or inspirational or creative ideas or projects, possibly someone in a place of employment, either a boss or an employee as well. Generally it bodes quite well, he's fairly, you know, pleasant to have around and he does have some good ideas as his maturity has grown through the years and he has learnt a lot and he's happy to pass it along, so he's not like a Grinch and holding on to things. 
but in some cases it can be insinuated that he can uh, be a little bit overbearing in a workplace for some of you and that's normally referring to a work environment he could be a little bit condescending almost as if to say well you know you'll never know as much as I do because I know everything if there is someone around like that it's not really personal um, just try to grin and bear it and if he has got some ideas that could be beneficial to you now would be a really good time to listen to them often people like that that tend to think you know they're a wee bit superior or they know more or they've you know more important whatever they let secrets away without realizing it in their conversation and I always think of these uh, points of opportunity as synchronistic moments when you can quite often pick something up that's really key or pivotal to an idea or concept or something you need to understand for you to move forward and they say it without even realizing they're giving you all these insights so it could be a really good time to listen to what people are saying around you we come to the Empress next and she is a beautiful card to have. She is your ma only major arcana card. And do bear in mind that July and August are the months of uh, the eclipses for the middle of the year. And there's three eclipses all bundled up in there. They are quite potent and they are sure to lead us into pathways of the unknown. Eclipses open up perceptions and ideas that we have either been hiding from ourselves personally and often this is about our emotional perspectives or integrity values or they can open up things that we weren't aware of that existed within our lives such as relationship issues or design flaws of projects or concepts or belief systems. So it can be quite a time of change and growth around this period. But that Empress card bodes beautiful harmony, uh, freedom, the harvesting in life, so meaning something has come to fruition and there is a period of enjoyment. She also definitely represents being outdoors and in nature, um, in paddocks or you know up in the mountains or forest or trees or around lakes and rivers. She is also very fertile, so she sometimes embodies sexual uh, anticipation and sexual unity with other people, as well as the conception of uh, pregnancy. So that's a possibility there. Some of you may find this person coming into your life and there's a great sexual chemistry or a wonderful uh, friendship brewing between yourself and this person. She could be someone who offers, you know, like a wonderful feeling of homeliness or social eventing so she could be a hostess at a big uh, occasion or you know like a you're going to stay somewhere with someone and it's a, like a really wonderful setting and she could be the person behind it who's either organized it or is there in some way or another as either a hostess or another guest that formulates this wonderful f feeling and energy and enjoyment in life we come also boding from a health perspective she usually bodes quite a good feeling of positive health around you as if there is a potential glow like feeling really positive and buoyed up and happy and so emotionally wise she tends to offer us quite good emotions if we come to the next card the six of cups it generally talks about going back in time so sometimes this card can be a timing event card that could be taking us back to months or years before when something happened that is either going to be reinstigated or you're re-looking into it or it's a project that's been on your mind for some time and you haven't been able to get it to the next stage so timing hasn't been right but now things are coming along so that's a possibility there. The other thing that quite often occurs when this card comes into your readings is that you might associate with people from the past like a school reunion or going back to see family members you haven't seen in a long time or visiting a childhood place that you grew up in that you haven't been to for years, childhood friends, all of those type of things pop up with this card. We can also sometimes see illnesses or um, familiar hereditary situations health-wise pop up when this card is here. 
So, you know, in family lines, there are things like um, thyroid problems or diabetes or heart problems or cancer problems. They're often linked to DNA, ancestral lineage. Well, sometimes this can be a time when issues crop up around those, whether or not it's your own or someone around you gets, uh, you know, a a health check and they find out that a condition is popping up that's been linked through the family that can sometimes uh, rear its head when this card is here and the other more traditional effect of the card is some sometimes people reunite with an ex-partner or an ex-lover and the word lover always rung a bell with me because it almost meant that it wasn't like a marriage partner it was someone who was more of a sometimes a hidden agenda relationship or one that wasn't ever fully engaged properly so sometimes an ex will come back into your life and you might try to reinitiate things or something is stirred up there now these are the sort of energies that eclipses can also bring about as well so we come to the page of swords he's our youngest person up there in that line well actually no because these can be children as well so also things to do with children might pop up when that card is around it does generally give off the feeling of love and connection that six of um, cups sorry back to the page of swords he can be a younger person and he could be walking into your life. It might be a sibling or a child of your own that you haven't seen in a while or one that you're seeing off on an overseas visit or to live you know, on a big OE or to work overseas. He could be a, a new person joining the family either temporarily or as a stepchild or son or brother or anything like that. He can also be more about the energy which is new ideas and concepts that come to us through the mind and using our thought and communication so sometimes he portends to signing contracts one way or another possibly legal contracts and documentation receiving emails that have got information in them about contracts possibly employment contracts or negotiations or litigations any of those type of things can happen when the page of swords turns up it's usually new information and it can come in quite quickly and be like whoa where, wow where do we go with all this so that's the sort of energy that he gives off we come down to these two cards here and we see uh, the green and the red and this is the heart chakra and that is the base chakra. So for some of you with the green card there and it does say passion and we've talked a little bit about passion in this top line really through the empress and um, possibly even that card with ex-lovers and things turning up um, and just feeling heart connected and even with this king of wands you know he's a passionate guy and he's connected himself to that card so he could be part of this desire for passion in the month of August or or something that creates passion and fire within you if this is talking from the health perspective rather than the relationship we the words on the top say desire fun fulfillment and joy well again the empress card really gives off uh, fulfillment and joy and desire so she's emulating all three of those kind of emotions so it does feel as though you have quite a heady positive uh, potential for emotions in the month of August um, that, that connect you at the heart so some of you might feel this real love bug coming and I'm sorry I keep going back to the emotional perspective when I should be focusing on the physical health perspectives but there's nothing more important than love and joy because they create good health within us anyhow so if you are lucky enough to feel these emotions coming for the month really embrace it and get out there and feel the fun and get into the desire because those are the things that fuel our bodies and fuel our soul and create the positive vibrations for us. Some of you may find that you have a blockage in this area of your body and some of you may be the opposite thinking oh ho hum I don't seem to have much fun or joy or anything at the moment. Now if that's the case you need to get some action in and you need to get some you know sweeping up of positive ideas and 
people and energy around you. So that heart chakra may need unblocking, which means you can meditate, you can eat green foods, you can wear the color green, you can have massages, you can have Reiki healing, spiritual healing, uh, exercise, diet, all of those things help to free these chakra energies uh, places where they are on the body and then when they're free flowing we manifest so much more we gain an awful lot more positivity so we're swinging with life's beat you know we're, we're grooving it more some of you could have a, a possible heart issue that may need checking or you might know someone close to you who goes through an issue with the heart and that's what I said earlier with this card up here there could be some sort of family tie in there uh, some of you might need to have your diet looked at to lower blood pressure or cholesterol issues or uh, go and have a good health heart checkup and remember exercise is a great way of um, dealing with a lot of the heart issues we have. If we go to the next one and it says home, it says shelter, safety, nurturing and warmth. So Cancerians in particular love their homes and the security that it offers. So if your base chakra is blocked, again, this you know, get it moving, unblock it. So eat the red foods, wear red, do the exercise, go outdoors and get grounded with nature and spend time outside. Um, again Reiki massage some of you could have bowel pains or stomach pains or sore hips legs and buttocks uh, you could have uh, problems keeping money going and keeping money grounded in your life that's if there's a blockage in that chakra area because the base chakra deals with our homes, our tribes, you know, our family tribe and our money and our feelings of anxiety or being grounded and happy. So it's a really important chakra. It's a very physical one dealing with the physical perspectives of life as opposed to the spiritual. So quite often if that one isn't uh, free flowing and working well and really grounded, then we don't manifest those physical desires in life. For some of you, you might be feeling like you just want to stay at home and do the whole shelter and bunker down and get that lovely feeling of nurture around you and, and stay warm. Some of you might have colds or flus or some ail ailment that needs you to take some time out and rest. And that could be another thing it's telling you to do that then. And at the same time, really nurture that part of your body that's calling out the most and it could be like a like a flu virus or something else that drains your energy but remember to keep this base chakra energy really fueled up as well because that's what will boost you back into good health so if we come to these last three cards which were about relationship down here you've got the power use your abilities to resolve the situation you can do it and I remember saying to you that Archangel Raziel had come to you saying intuition. So when we connect with intuition or gut feelings and ideas, that's when we're using our power. And when we do that, we often find that answers come to us a lot quicker and with more flow and more power. And we manifest easier in life. Or we manifest things more easily. So this could be anything from relationships to uh, money to career to health so if you have a relationship that is out of kilter or you're wanting to rebalance one in your life they're saying go intuitively and seek to find out what it is that's wrong with it to bring back in balance because we all hold the answers in the end and if we do a little bit more inner connecting we'll find them out we'll find out what it is we need to do daughter the answer to your question involves your daughter. So I always find the daughter and the son a little bit uh, interesting to read because of course not everyone has a daughter or a son. So then we have to expand that card out to a greater level and we have to say well it could be someone that uh, you feel closely connected to as if you were a mother or, or a father. Or as if you have this feeling as if you've got this wonderfully close relationship like a mother-daughter or father-daughter or sister 
you know, sister relationship type thing. She could be a stepdaughter. She could also be someone else's daughter or she could be a young person. Uh, so there's something here that could be on your mind around relationships with this person. Possibly there are some issues that you would like to deal with. Is it uh, behavioral based? Is it health based? Again, remember this card over here that said you think intuitively and go a little bit deeper with finding the answers and resolving any problems with a person like this in your life. It could even be a young work colleague or a young person in the community. You know, a lot of people are coaches or mentors for people. So if you're one of those, such as a coach or a mentor, you might be thinking of someone that on your mind that you're, you've been trying to help through something. Um, remember, our intuition usually leads us before events occur too. So if this person has been on your mind and you think you should do something about it or contact someone or contact them, you need to go and do that and be aware of it. The last card, the spiritual teacher, is beautiful. It says your life purpose involves teaching others about healing and spirituality. So there are so many more people now on the planet who are becoming awakened to the spiritual benevolence of life and the ability to offer healing one way or another or things like like that I do myself you know spiritual consultations or Reiki healing uh, there are a number of different ways that we can offer help and support to others and it feels as though this whole line here for some of you is really talking about your ability to be the person that is the stronghold for someone else in life and it may not just be one person some of you may be thinking about uh, broaching out and forming your own business or starting a new concept of spirituality or teaching or practices or methodologies that are going to go out and into the community. So this could be the formation of a whole business strategy for you and you might be pondering on how to do it and again it goes back to the intuition and you've got the power. So I think all three of those cards feel very connected at the bottom and if for some of you they really haven't you know, tapped into how you do feel, just give it a wee bit more thought and expand on what some of those cards or messages could mean from your own perspective as opposed to what I'm saying. So let's put these ones away and as I promised I'm going to pull another card for you. I did just get some brand new cards yesterday. I haven't worked with them a great deal yet but that doesn't matter because I'm sure they're going to be inspirational. There's two different decks here and uh, we'll just pull one from each. So sometimes as I say it's worth waiting. So this is for Cancer. What would the last message be that would you like to tell them? Let's just go into here. Marriage. That's a bit, bit like the, um, the whole one with the children and the daughter thing. So marriage, guys. So maybe there's some romance coming. Maybe it's about a marriage, like a... A wedding that you might be attending through someone else's wedding over the summer season or you may get a proposition of marriage or engagement or you may be going to make one to someone or it's someone close within your family or your own marriage is on your mind or you are you know wanting to seek a marriage type energy around you and that's Saint Catherine of Alexandria the saint that is um, coming to you with that. So if any of you are really wishing to be in a happy marriage situation, focus on her. And this last card for you. Vulnerability. And the colour palette there is really, really similar with the brown type energies. So um, that's quite interesting that they've come in through there. They're kind of like the orangey brown so we're going back to that base chakra sacral chakra energy point on the body but the vulnerability card says this is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition wow than rationality 
Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. I love when synchronicity plays a role. We'd been talking about intuition. That was your Archangel Raziel who gave you that message. That's also the green right on the heart. You had the green for the passion. Some of you, this is connected to passion and love without a doubt and romance and relationships. So they're saying don't be afraid of vulnerability because if there's someone coming into your life at the moment who you're meeting, this could be a long-term special soulmate relationship that ends up in a marriage uh, type of uh, situation. Wow, that's a really, really special message for you guys. You did well. So thank you all for joining me. Please remember to sub the channel and uh, hit the little button that that gives you the alarms you know when I upload the new videos that way you'll see them all when they come in and then you won't have to search through them waiting for the cancer monthly readings or other ones that you want to hear. I love it when you leave your comments and I thank you again for joining me. So have a wonderful August. You guys have some excellent advice and insights in your reading. Take care all. Much love. Namaste.